Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, the 11th of December. Normally on Mondays, I would be getting my coffee from Dunkin', but I'm not gonna be buying anything today. It's not on the list of the call to action items for today, but grocery stores were, so we're gonna do that, but make it fun. So I'm gonna be having coffee at home. I think I'm just gonna do plain dunks today. So you guys are sitting on my coffee station right now, but I have my ground coffee in these cute glass jar things. So this is my just Dunkin' regular roast. So I'm gonna grab my reusable K-cup. And contrary to popular belief, I do make coffee at home half the time. Sometimes I just like a little treat. So on the agenda today, Barley is with us still. He's our boarding client, and then I have check-ins at 8 and 5 until Saturday of this week, which Saturday is Duke's birthday. I'm very excited about that. So I'm going to be catching up on work stuff, and I need to clean my office because, my God, is it a mess right now. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to have coffee. At, well, okay, I started eating my breakfast burrito. Let me get into the kitchen so i heard you're supposed to have food before you have coffee uh, because it's like a digestive thing or what look i know i could research the science behind it i just choose not to okay and that has to be okay for me <laughs> and it is anyway so i'm working on my burrito this is the just for all egg impossible sausage some potato and the trader joe's spicy mexican cheese and then I'm using, um, I actually, I like them. I don't think they work well for quesadillas. That's the only thing that I feel like it's a little lackluster. But I've been trying to use these from time to time. They're La Banderita carb counter tortillas. So they're supposed to be low carb. I'm doing my best, okay? I still, you guys know, um, I'm a bread girl. I'm a pasta girl. I will always be those things, but I'm trying to have some more like protein when I can which also here's a, this is not what this video is about this is just like a quick aside there's another swap that I've made in the past like year that I also really like it is this this is not an ad I will always be honest if it is an ad but I have to tell you every other protein pasta just tastes like gross it doesn't have good texture or flavor I'm not exaggerating when I say this is the only good protein pasta that exists, okay? It's the only one that I feel like the taste and texture are exactly that of real pasta. I think the protein source is they have lentil flour, pea protein, and chick fl ch chick flour, <laughs> and chickpea flour. This is so good. I love this. I've started to try to use this instead of like regular pasta as much as I can. 10 out of 10 recommend. Hi, Barley. Also, I'm sure that I have said at some point, but my girl, the Silk Soy Creamer and I are still going strong. So I'm just gonna put a little sploosh of that in here and then have my barracas, get dressed, hit the gym. It's leg day today. And then, yeah, carry on about my merry way. All right, I'm back and I have a bone to pick with Albertsons. Not just because I'm not doing any shopping or spending or anything today, but just in general, I find that there's one thing, well, there's a lot of things that are staples in our house, but one of them is the cheddar jalapeno bread that they sell at Albertsons from the bakery section. For some reason, it is either absolutely correct or utter but There like is no in between. So the most recent one that I got, hold please. This is all that's left of it, but even still, this is like one of four jalapenos that were on the entire loaf of like this size. So I'm gonna try to make my own today. I have some diced jalapenos that I had already purchased and then we always also have cheese in our fridge. So I'm gonna get the dough started in my bread machine and then I'm going to try to make it myself. We'll see how it goes. Thank you. 
All right, I'm working on dinner now, and I'm gonna be honest, I've already eaten some of this bread, but look at how massive this turned out to be. So like, so the bread was basically from here to here. It took up pretty much the en entire pan, so it was a success. I just like, I don't know what it is. I need to get better about taking the middle rack out of the oven. This is really only the second time this has happened, but I just don't like when things get stuck to the top where the middle rack is, which is what's happening right here in the middle. That That's not supposed to be like that. It should have just kept rising, but it can't rise because we have one of those ovens. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys. So it's one that is mostly storage, <laughs> but I mean, so it folds halfway down or you can open the whole thing. I prefer to use the lower rack because we can pull it out and it's on wheels, whereas the other ones are like the, um, did they just slide in and out, but you have manually do it. Anyway, nobody asked for that story, but I hope you enjoyed it. I'm also pretty much caught up on Vlogmas, so I don't know if anybody else has noticed or really cares, but I haven't been doing outros for Vlogmas for the past, like, I think four videos or something like that. Let me know. If it bothers you, I will go back to doing it every single video. If not, if nobody cares, then I guess I'll just keep doing it. That's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching Vlogmas 2023. If you would like to, you can like, comment, or subscribe down below, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye!